All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Planetary Domes, which is being made by forum user Thrim. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, domes for all your planetary base building needs. And I really, really love this mod. Now, we actually have looked, though, at other mod packs in the past that did include domes for for building really cool bases, uh, but I always kind of had a problem with them because the domes almost felt like an afterthought among all of these other parts for building other things. There was never really a focus and sometimes things didn't go very well together with various parts. This mod, on the other hand, is all about the domes. So every part in it fits well with every other part and it just works. And I've really been enjoying it so far. So let's jump right on into the VAB and have a look at the parts that do currently make this up. And thankfully the mod maker has taken advantage of the search bar and we can put in the mod maker name for Thrim Aerospace there and we get the currently eight different parts that come in this pack. Now the mod maker is wanting to create more in the future, more kinds of domes, hopefully more shapes and sizes, uh, but for the time being we have eight parts which are split into two size groups and two sort of styles. Now let's look at the sizes first and the basic style of the glass dome, which comes in two sizes, either the 6.25 or the larger 12.5. And if we actually zoom out for this thing, we see we have just the basic sort of style of rounded dome, but we got two other domes over here, and they also, of course, come in the 6.25 size, as well as the 12.5 size, but these are more, shall we say, oddly shaped, using polygons rather than, well, I guess they all kind of use polygons, but using irregular shapes rather than just a rounded dome, and I really do quite like that. I especially love the larger one, because it kind of reminds me of like a beehive or something, and I... I enjoy that very much. Now, of course, you're going to need some floors for these domes, so your Kerbals have uh, some place they can actually walk around in. And similarly, we have two different size floor panels for the 6.25 size variety, as well as the 12.5 size variety. And you'll notice inside here, if we actually grab the large one, because it's uh, easier to see, we have four different attachment points around the outside and one attachment point in the middle and this allows you to add a lot of things inside the interior of your dome now the center point is also what is used to actually connect your uh, floor with your dome but once you have that connected it is also still useful for placing something dead center inside the dome let's just sort of show that off real quick with say a convertotron and uh, yeah we can pop that right there in the center or equally we can put it on any of of the four exterior ones around there. Works out quite nicely. And we do have, of course, the same thing with the smaller dome, except you just have a lot less room to work with, but you still do have those five attachment points, which is very, very handy to have. Now the next part is the way you actually get in between your different domes, and I, I actually think this next part may be one of my favorite parts Ever. <laughs> Frankly, it is the base airlock, which as you can see actually does have a thousand electrical charge. So this thing is also a very big battery, and you just sort of connect it into one of your domes. Oh god, there we go. Actually, we need to flip it around. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, I'll get this eventually, guys. Okay, okay, well, let's rotate it this way. There we go. <laughs> After a lot of fussing about with it, we have this base piece, the uh, base airlock rather. Now I needed to flip it around because you'll notice if I wouldn't have, and if we would have just uh, gone to attach this thing, oh god I'm really not doing well on the rotating today am I? Use the right keys, okay now I have it correctly. There's incorrect. So there we are. For the correct attachment, you actually have the airlock inside 
of the dome. And then you have the exterior part that you can either use as an airlock to get outside, or of course, for our final part, a lovely tunnel that we can attach to these. Now let's actually flip it around the right way, and there we go, bam, we have a tunnel that fits it perfectly. Now, if you attach it incorrectly, you'll notice that of course the airlock is entirely outside. Now it still does actually attach, it is actually having a solid attachment right now, uh, but it's gonna be completely useless for the purpose of your base, because the whole point of these airlocks, and why I think it's one of my favorite parts ever, is that each side of the airlock is a crew hatch. Now we've worked with a lot of different parts in the past which had glass enclosures that you could get into, and it was always kind of a bit of a pain because you could get Kerbals into them with, say, some sort of command pod, but it was sometimes difficult to get them out. With this airlock though, that door right there is a crew hatch. That door right there is also a crew hatch, and the airlock itself is a command pod that can hold two Kerbals. Well, actually, it's a, technically a habitation container, it's not a command pod, that will hold two Kerbals. So you go in through this door, you temporarily sit there, and then you can go out through this door. And that means you can get all your Kerbals in and out of each of your domes with very, very little fuss, and it works beautifully. And of course, if you have it attached incorrectly, as we have with this second airlock here, well, he's not going to be able to get outside that door now, is he? But what we can do with this, of course, is go and attach it here, and then you just attach another dome over the god this way. There we go, finally got it, and bam! We have two domes that are interconnected by a tube. If you have, say, a uh, command pod or something in here, your Kerbal can exit the command pod, walk down the floor, go into this airlock, stay in there momentarily, come out of this airlock, walk through the tube, go into this airlock, go out of this airlock, and then be in this dome. It can, of course, mean that it takes a little bit of time on some occasions to get a Kerbal entirely through your base, but it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I really love having this airlock. I I have seen parts like it before, but uh, frankly, not often enough. And well, that is the eight parts for this lovely little mod. We have domes, we have floors, we have tubes, and we have airlocks, all good. So what can, of course, you do with these different domes. Now I'm sure you guys already have a whole world full of ideas, and I went ahead and made a crappy little planetary domes base that I parked here in the grass to just show off what I was able to do in just a couple of minutes. So imagine what you could do with many hours of, you know, enjoyment on your hands. We have a little base. You enter through this airlock to have two different habitation containers with all the electrical production you hopefully will need as well as communication domes. We then can go through these tubes over to here where we have a research lab and these lovely uh, convertotrons here for doing some industrial work. We then have a lovely little, uh, I guess you could say residential district back here with two little small crew containers or ca command pods rather. We have the same thing over on this end and then just, well basically another area of apartments. We have another mobile processing lab and then a couple of these Mark One crew cabins all which you can use beautifully to just do whatever you want. And now I do have a lot of Kerbals in here. Now most of them are in different containers. I do have Rondler though. He is inside this airlock right here. And at the moment I did mention they have interiors. They are using a placeholder interior of the Mark I crew pod, which as you can see, we're uh, kind of got a weird view in here because, well, we're not... We're not meant to be in here, frankly, because it's just purely a placeholder. But what we can do is, of course, click on this door and get him out. And bam, he's now inside of this particular dome and he can go do things, go jump into that container, or of course, can decide to go out into the wide world and, oh yeah, yeah, just hit B, there we go. And now he's inside that airlock and we can get him out. Beautiful! 
he's lying on the ground for some reason, but there we are. That's why I love that uh, particular airlock part, because it makes it so much easier and, frankly, cooler to get in and out of these different domes. Like, uh, previous glass enclosures that you've worked with, you've either had to glitch another part kind of through the dome a little bit, or just have a big hole in it, leaving it open to the world, which doesn't make for the best of designs and immersion. But for this, on the other hand, we just bored. And there we go, we're in. Now, of course, rather than going in and out of these various tubes, we can transfer crew and it makes it a lot easier to get from one end of the base to the other. But nonetheless, I kind of like actually going through the tubes because now that I have him in here, I can get him out into the tube. And there we are. He's basically in a little hamster tube there. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a basic idea of some type of base you could build. And again, I made this in like five minutes. So imagine what you could do with hours of time on your hands to build something truly creative. And that's what I really love about these different base building mods. And what I truly do love about these dome type situations. I've always enjoyed them when they were parts in other mods. Now that it is a mod of domes in and of itself... I'm even happier. And now granted, you could use these for more than just planetary bases. I'm sure a lot of you guys could think of some great space stations that you could probably build with these and just all sorts of other weird, wacky ideas. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, I have the link in the description as always. And if you do build anything cool with this, I would love to see it. So do send me some pictures and hopefully enjoy yourself with this lovely mod. But that's gonna be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed Enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.